Here's a series of images I made using a very simple printing process called Klexography. It doesn't require any skill and doesn't require any specialist material. All you need is some paper and some ink. I'm going to show you how to do this in a moment. But first of all, a little bit of background information about Klexography. It comes from the German word Klex, meaning stain or blotch, and graphy, which refers to writing or drawing or a field of study. And Klexography is better known by the word inkblot, made famous by the Swiss psychologist Hermann Rorschach, who in 1921 published his Rorschach inkblot tests that allowed him to assess personality and emotional functioning in patients. He was heavily influenced himself by the German poet and medical writer Justinus Kerner, who made his own book that combined images and text and poetry. So to make your own clexographic prints, simply get a piece of paper, any kind of paper will do, even if you have office paper, that's fine. Fold the paper in half. Once you've folded the paper, then take your ink. Um, here's some Indian ink. This has a pipette that comes with it. That's fantastic. But if you don't have a pipette, you can simply use a a brush to dab some spots of ink onto the paper. The whole process of clexography really is about chance and embracing the unknown. So randomly put some spots of ink onto the paper. I quite like to allow the, the ink to run a little bit as well to add to the uncertainty of what's going to come out in the image. And once you've done that, fold the paper over and press down gently. You can see the image starting to come together. And the fun part of this is really opening up the paper and seeing what's revealed. You can change the orientation of the image as well to see what comes out. And if you see something, you can sometimes work back into the image as well to bring out the qualities that you see. You can also add some spots, go back into the image and see how that changes the process. It's all about playing, experimenting, and seeing what happens. There we go. That's quite interesting. So here's an example of a print I made earlier where I worked back into the image afterwards. The initial print was made, and then I added some lines here um, to create some detail into these beetle creatures. It's all about having a go, seeing what happens. Enjoy.